Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of What Your Money Can Buy. This time I'm gonna show you one of my latest sales. That's right, I just sold a unit in this brand new Tridel building at Shepherd and Leslie just a month ago. And I'm gonna give you the price, the details, and not only am I gonna give you all the details, I'll give you a property tour of this unit and explain more about the building even. But I'm gonna tell you what it says about the Toronto condo market, the Toronto real estate market, and everything else you need to know. As always, this is Sam from Sibiri 6 Real Estate and Remax Realtron. Let's get to it. So I just grabbed the key. And the funny thing is before we go up to show you the unit, this is a real story. When I listed this unit for sale and I put the lockbox here, there was another unit that came on sale the exact day we put our unit for sale. It was a very comparable unit, just like our unit. It was a one plus one with two washrooms, but it was on a lower floor. However, it was about 30 to 40 square feet bigger. And after a couple of days on the market, our key went missing. That's right, a lot of people came to see the unit, opened the lockbox, there was no key there. I got a lot of calls to that effect. And of course, often when that is the case, agents just misplaced the key. It could be an agent that accidentally pocketed the key, or it could be a case where the agent put the key back in the wrong lockbox. But what actually had happened in this instance was a case where the competing agents of the competing unit stole the key. Anyways, let's go see the unit. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the unit. Now, obviously when we sold it, it was beautifully staged. And if you wanna see it in its staged variation, you can go on my Instagram or TikTok and take a look at it. Maybe I will splice in some of that video of when it was staged and available for sale. So you can have a better understanding of how it looked when it was staged. Nonetheless, come on in. So now we're standing in the den, right? So remember, this is a one plus one with two full washrooms, a balcony and one parking spot. As I said earlier in the video, we sold this unit for $725,000. It's about 650 square feet. That means we got an excess of $1,100 per square foot, if my math is correct, which at the time was the highest sale ever for a one bedroom, one plus one in this building. Granted, this is a new building and I'll tell you a little bit more about the building, but as we speak right now, we're standing in the den area. Cameraman, if you can go back a bit further so maybe people can see the dent a bit better. Ultimately, it is a smaller unit. It is a brand new building. It is a Tridel building. And let me speak on the building a bit more. The reason we were able to sell for $1,100 per square foot at Shepherd and Leslie, where some new buildings in downtown, midtown, Young and Shepherd are struggling to even sell at a thousand per square foot. It's because it's a Tridel building and it's not just any Tridel building. It is the Scala condos. It's probably Tridel's best project in a very long time. The building is beautiful. I definitely recommend you take a look at it if you drive by and if you ever have a showing in this building, it's definitely a pleasure. The amenities, which unfortunately we cannot film, are absolutely fantastic and they, they compete with downtown condo amenities, both in terms of size and quality. And in some instances, they're superior in terms of quality. So all in all, we have a great project by one of the best Toronto condo builders that competes with a lot of downtown Toronto condo buildings and it's not full of tenants or Airbnbs. It's, it's not as if it's filled with investors. It's actually very end user friendly. And a lot of people who do live in this building are end users, often retirees or downsizing or working professionals of a higher income bracket. So that's just a little bit of context about how we were able to sell this for such a high price. And to be fair, we sold this, remember, uh, and maybe I didn't mention this part, we did sell this in March. This is being recorded May 12th. So I was really busy in the duration. We would have probably been able to sell this for even higher than $1,100 per square foot, the $725,000 price point if we sold in April or even early May. But of course you cannot perfectly time the market and that's not what we pretend to do. So a little bit more about the unit, right? And what it says about the market. At the time when this unit, and as I speak, you can see the uh, living area and the kitchen and the full side kitchen is to my side and to the back. And when we did list this originally, there was very little inventory. So right now inventory within the Toronto real estate market is significantly lower than most other spring markets. In April, it was significantly lower than it was in most Aprils. In February, it was significantly lower than it was most Februarys. January, thus far in May, it has picked up a bit, but nothing considerably so. But particularly in March, inventory was much lower. As a result, when my client was interested in selling this property, 
Well, it was the perfect timing. Once again, not intentionally in a low inventory environment, a great unit by a great builder in a great building is going to get a lot of attention. That's exactly what happened. We got tons of showings and we were listed at $758,000. And this is a conversation I had with my client at the time. I thought the listing price was a little bit optimistic and we still managed to sell it at 725, the highest price ever at the time for this building for one bedroom or one plus one. And once again, as I previously stated, $1,100 per square foot, which is really good for North York. So anyways, you can see the front entrance door. I just showed you the den, right? So the good thing about this unit that is really rare for a lot of one plus ones, right? Newer one plus ones particularly, is the fact that it has two full washrooms. So cameraman, come take a look at this first full washroom which is by the door, right? It's meant to be the guest washroom in the case you want to convert your den into a second bedroom or where guests stay overnight. And right now, obviously, once again, it's not in the cleanliest of conditions. This unit has been vacant for a month and a half now since we sold it, right? It doesn't close until the end of May, but it's really good because people who wanna buy one plus ones often don't even get a half washroom on top of their uh, own washroom. This has not only a half washroom, but a second full washroom. And by far, when we're trying to sell this, besides all the other attributes I mentioned, the fact that there was a second full washroom was one of the key ingredients. And I heard it over and over again by people who were reviewing the unit that attracted them to the listing in the first place, besides all the other positive stuff as well. But now it's not all positive. This unit had its challenges, right? For instance, if we come, and I don't know how the camera is gonna to adjust to this, but hopefully it slowly adjusts to the outside. It has a big balcony. That's not the negative, right? The balcony is quite sizable in nature. Come, come cameraman. The balcony is quite sizable in nature, right? As I step back and back and back, it's pretty big. The fact that it has a big balcony, that wasn't the notch against this unit. What was a little less than ideal is the exposure. It's northern and eastern, right? And you know, if you take a look at the view, it's mostly to, if not all green. Cameraman, if you can pan to the view here. As you can see, it's residential. There's a gas station, sure, but it's mostly green, especially the further west you look, right? So it's, it's, it's a pretty decent view. The problem is that you're not gonna get a lot of sun and it's gonna be a darker unit in the winter time. And obviously March is not the dead set of winter, but March is a darker month. So that was a bit of a difficulty, and that's one of the, I would say, minor downsides to this unit that we had to deal with. But as we come back inside, right, we see the side kitchen once again. And now that's the thing, these types of side kitchens are gonna be very common for most entry-level units, even in really high-end buildings by high-end builders such as Tridel. Obviously, the penthouses in these buildings do not have these uh, side kitchens, and some of the larger units don't have the side kitchens. But for a side kitchen, I think it's pretty decent, right? No gas stove, but the cabinets are quite big, and the sink is quite big, right? It's actually a sizable sink, and there's a lot of storage space for a newer condo and side kitchen. And then lastly, let's take a look at the bedroom. A couple of notes on the bedroom, right? The bedroom um, has a walkthrough uh, closet for his and hers. If you pan to the uh, closet space, you see a walkthrough closet. And behind that door is actually the second full washroom uh, ensuite inside the bedroom, right? So the bedroom is on the smaller side, uh, no doubt. But a queen size bed actually fit here comfortably with two end units. And that's, of course, uh, as per the staging. Once again, if you want to take a look at this unit staged, you can check it out on my Instagram. So yes, this is largely what your money could buy for $720,000 to $730,000 within North York, particularly with regards to the one plus one and two washrooms in the Shepherd Leslie area, the eastern half of North York. Now, a little bit more on what this says about the market, particularly with regards to the Shepherd Leslie condo market, because I distinguish that between the Bayview Village condo market. The Bayview Village condo market is obviously very close in terms of Shepherd and Bayview, very close to Shepherd and Leslie. But the Shepherd and Leslie condo market is dominated by Concord buildings, particularly diagonal from this building behind the Canadian Tire and by the IKEA. If you know the area well, you know where I'm talking about. The fact is that this condo stands out very well because those Concord buildings are not my cup of tea. You know my opinion on Concord. Those buildings are at best, if I'm being very uh, positive or mediocre, 
in the worst case, they're not good at all. And then further east of this towards Fairview Mall, you also have a lot of mediocre buildings as well. So the fact of the matter is this building I foresee is going to be the most expensive building in the Shepherd Leslie area because it's truly a great project by a great builder amongst otherwise bad to at best very, very average condos. Anyways, this was yet another edition of what your money can buy this time, a North York one plus one condo with two full washrooms, one balcony, obviously, and one parking. As always, for more on the Toronto real estate market, feel free to follow me for more. Subscribe if you find this content informative and enjoyable. And my contact information is always in the description box. If you have any further questions or any suggestions, inquiries, feel free to get in touch with me with regards to my contact information in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you.